Hey everybody, this is Mr. V and this is Abe's review video, topic 6.9 on hydroelectric power. So uh, with hydroelectric energy, what we're talking about is we're talking about methods that are going to um, generate electricity using water, right? So that's going to be the main thing. Now that typically when people think about water energy, they think about dams um, in a river, but that doesn't have to be the case. You can also have um, turbines out uh, in the ocean uh, using tidal power as well. So um, you know, the idea is that generally you're going to have the same kind of process. It's going to be this process where you're spinning a turbine and the turbine is connected to a generator of some sort and that's going to produce electricity. So if you look right here, um, here we have a uh, hydroelectric dam and it works very similar. So one thing I want to point out is that basically from here to here, okay, um, this generally works much like a steam powered uh, power plant, right? Only instead of using steam to turn the turbine, this location right here, you're using water. So you can have an intake valve or a gate that's going to allow water in. You build the dam to hold back the water and that potential energy turns into kinetic energy once you let it run through. And that's how the turbine spins. Um, and of course, the rest of that is the same. Um, on the other side, it's going to be connected to a generator. The generator is going to be connected to transformers and then send that energy out um, to the rest of um, you know, the civilization that needs it. <clears throat> now, the same thing can work with a tidal dam or a tidal energy uh, barrage as well. What happens here is um, you have a turbine and you build almost like a, uh, its own version of a dam um, in the ocean and what that does is when the tide comes in naturally right due to gravity it will pass through this turbine area right there and that turbine area is going to spin which will then be connected to a generator and then send it off so here you have an estuary where there's like a it's the, it'll be the end of a river and that'll be the mix of a uh, salt and freshwater okay so um, that area right there that salt and freshwater mixing um, that's going to be higher during high tide. And then as low tide comes in, that water is going to rush through. So it'll go in both directions here. And if you can uh, put this in a strategically uh, correct spot, then you can generate energy from that. So, um, you know, there, there are some benefits to this and this can provide energy for big populations or small populations, it just depends. Now there's some pros and cons. So number one is you're not gonna get any air pollution. Um, you're not going to also have any waste. There's not going to be any toxic waste or anything like that. Um, you are going to have to um, spend a lot of money to build something like this, especially through something like tidal power. And of course, the construction itself is going to use a lot of concrete, which we know um, is going to be a big greenhouse gas emitter. And so we'll talk more about that when we get to um, uh, later units. But that's going to be a big problem. And then, of course, you're changing a habitat. You're changing a running water habitat into a standing water habitat on one side and then the other side you're going to greatly decrease the amount of water that is available to one side of the river so um, that's th those are problems that you have to think of when it comes to those and of course there are solutions to that um, like creating such thing as fish ladders so fish can get through and things like that uh, but again the habitat itself on the other side is still going to be changed once you get to that point and so here's some other resources that can uh, you can look into um, and hopefully those will be helpful and hopefully this was helpful. Thank you very much.